Hey folks, this is Tracy with Scrappy's Rustics. In this video, we're going to make two adorable, inexpensive risers. Uh, the napkin is available at scrappysrustics.com. We're going to use, it has two different images, so we're going to use one of each. The uh, bottle caps came from the Dollar Tree. They were silver. I spray painted them white. And the spindle you see, I bought a picture at Michael's that had a spindle. It's not a real spindle. It was glued to it, so I ripped it off and I cut it into pieces. We're going to use Heavy Body Gel by Pentart, Ultra Decoupage uh, Glue and Sealer by Pentart, Waverly Moss Paint, uh, Oxide Stamp to go around the, the sides, um, Tim Holtz Oxide, I think it's called Vintage something, Vintage, it's kind of like a purpley, pinkish kind of color. So I'm just using some painter's tape to get my plies off. This is a three ply. You want to get all your plies off so you can see your image nicely that you decoupage and you want your background to be white so your image pops. You can actually see what the difference the white makes in the background by this picture right here. So like I said, <clears throat> I wanted to use one of each image, so one of each corner, and we are gonna decoupage those on. I tried my best to uh, put it in the exact spot I wanted, peeled this back, put a little bit of my uh, decoupage ultra matte down by Pentart, which is also available. Uh, on our website at scrappiesrustics.com and I ended up moving it so <laughs> that was kind of a fail but it was fine so I went ahead and decoupage that down and if you notice when I do peel stuff like this back I do not go right to my paper line until the last because you don't want your paper to get soggy while you're waiting you know to get the rest of your medium down so try to do your surface first and get close to your paper napkin whatever it is you're using at the time um, so I started to use the sand, uh, the gator to sand this off and what it wasn't really taking the, what it was taking the paint off. It wasn't really taking the napkin off. So I ended up using the water pen and that worked really great. If I pulled taut on it, it worked really good. So that's what I did all the way around. And, um, yeah, the sander did not work good on the bottle cap shape. Just too many ups and downs in there. So I'm just cleaning off the edges. Look how cute that is. That alone, you could just hang those on the wall and leave it at that. So I went ahead and sealed these. I love, if you're a matte type of person, this seriously is ultra matte. It's crazy. It's crazy good. You can't even tell you put anything on it. So the sides looked okay white, but I thought, well, let's put some Waverly Moss. Who doesn't love Waverly Moss? I mean, it's just a, such a beautiful color. And I just thought I added a little softness to it. So I did that for both. And uh, whatever I did to one, I did for the other. I went ahead and sealed that as well. I'm so confident because I love the, the chalk look, but that ultra matte is so ultra matte, you still get the same look. So I thought, like I said, these aren't real spindles. They came from a clearance picture I ripped off. You can see actually where I did rip them off um, <laughs> from Michael's. So I just wanted to age them up a little. So I took a few of my oxides and I just kind of haphazardly went here, there, and everywhere um, just, to, just to grunge them up a bit. I think one is walnut and the other one's vintage photo or something like that. I'm not exactly sure. But the um, the ripoff mark didn't even bother me. I could have sanded it down, but I didn't. Um, I just think it adds more character to it, actually. And uh, looks like it looks like it has a story. So I wanted to soften up the outs, the, the, the tops here. So I used the, um, I think it's called vintage. It's vintage something. It's like a pinkish purple. So I just took my paintbrush dipped it in the oxide and went around but when I got went over the green part it didn't look so good so I ended up wiping that off and skipping uh, I only did it on the white parts and the pink parts it just didn't look right on the the green for whatever reason um, and I couldn't really hit it with the pad itself because of the shape of this so the paintbrush so I'm just showing you there that one has it the other one doesn't just it's so subtle but it just adds I don't know a little softness to it so then I thought the spindles needed a little of this pink too, so why not? Make it all cohesive. <clears throat> so now we're going to use the heavy body gel. This is known to help to adhere items to metal, and it, it works like a boss. This, is, this stuff is a workhorse. Um, this is available as well, on our, as well on our website. But you let this stuff sit, and it is amazing. It is, it's really hard to get anything to stick to metal, and this stuff really, and that's what it's made for, its original purpose. Although it has very uh, a lot of other uses. <clears throat> I can't talk today. 
So trying to center them. These come out so cute. And I picked the two spindles that were different sizes because I wanted one a little bit higher than the other. But this, this project's so simple. You could make this your own in any way. If you don't have spindles, you could use a candle holder, a piece of wood. I mean, there's a lot of different pieces you could use um, for your riser part. And uh, just make it your own. You could decoupage, you could stencil, you could whatever you want to do on these little bottles. I've had them forever, never knew what to do with them, and it just dawned on me to make a little uh, little riser. So there you have it. I love these. They're so adorable. Love the colors. There's our spindle stain on. <laughs> One's a little bit higher than the other. And these are stinking cute. And they're all sealed. Nice matte finish. So you can uh, put some little tchotchkes on there and display them. There you have it. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this inspires you in one way to one way or another. Make sure you check out our website at scrappiesrustics.com.